हार्टलैंड क्रेडिट व्यू नेबरहुड सेंटर एक फ्लाई संस्था है जड़ी के इस्टैबलिश कर अपने आप को अपना सेंटर बनाने की कोशिश कर रही है मिस सागा दे और स्ट्रीट्सविल का हल्का है उन्होंने एक ब्रैकफास्ट मीट एंड ग्रीट रखिया पूरी जानकारी दी उन्होंने अपनी संस्था के बारे से और की कुछ करना चाहते हैं इतने उन्होंने सद्दा दिता से काफ़ी एम पीज़ न एम पी पीज नेयर ऑफ मिस सागा भी उत्थे आए सन तो उन्होंने भी कुछ अपने विचार दसे डेफिनेटली यह सोचन का मसला है कि मेयर ऑफ मिस सागा का यह कहना जिद असी पूरी तरह सहमत हाँ कि लोग हॉस्पिटल्स नज हॉस्पिटल्स यूज कर वेटिंग टाइम घटूगा ए नहीं कि किसी को माड़ा जहा ताप हो गया या कि पीड़ हो गई तो उठ के हॉस्पिटल चले जान और समझन कि असी इतों इलाज करावे ए भी छोटी छोटिया चीज़ा ने जिड़िया वेट टाइम वा ने हॉस्पिटल्स क्योंकि हो सकता तो वो मसला या वो समस्या फार्मेसी जाके हल हो जाए सो एक सोचन की घड़ी आ कि असी हॉस्पिटल्स न सिर्फ एक फ्री सर्विस समझ के मूँह चुक के जाके इस्तेमाल ना करिए बल्कि रियली जो उन्होंने नीड करिए तो उन्होंने इस्तेमाल करिए इस तरह भी हस्पता का असं वेट टाइम वाने आई होप यू इंजॉय दिस सैगमेंट एज वैल and think on these lines which we have just narrated to get the pro uh, province to announce one or announce one in Malton. There's one in Malton yes, that's being established. So we have two actually. It is not operational yet. We're putting it in the uh, in the uh, Lincoln Alexander School. Uh, we had a swimming pool, indoor swimming pool there, and we've closed it because we built a new indoor swimming pool at the Malton Community Center. So right now we're negotiating with the school board and the city uh, to establish a community health center there. So that won't service the Malton area. I just thought it, there, there will be two. Hopefully three. Well, yeah. You know, I want to say this to you though, ladies and gentlemen. You read the Toronto Sun this morning and they are condemning McGinty for spending money re recklessly. And they have spent some recklessly. But this is going to cost. Uh, to keep, they say that the Guinea should work to cut costs to keep the deficit down. You can't cut the deficit down and add all kinds of facilities. So he's being taken apart right now in the press in a big way for spending money. A health center such as this costs a lot of money. You just showed the figures. So. Uh, you better realize that uh, money doesn't grow on trees or on these beautiful uh, things that you brought this morning. Okay. It, the way it, it, and, and the advantage of a health center is great. There's no question about it. But our health system is misused and mismanaged. Well, there's people going to the emergency wards of hospitals that shouldn't be anywhere near them. They cut their finger, they go to the emergency ward. They get a cold, they go to the emergency ward. And what your organizations can do is discourage people. Remember, your, your people came from our country where hospital uh, services were almost zil, nil, to some degree, right? They come to this country 
and we have now what we call a free service. It is not free. It costs a lot of money. It's 48% of the provincial budget, the health costs of Ontario. So be very conscious of the fact that what you should be as an organization uh, at, at, uh, promoting health prevention yourselves, exactly. not just the health care center, eating right, exercising right. The reason, the reason the kids are full of diabetes today is because they come from school, they go home, they have their phone or their games to play, and they don't go out and exercise. So there's a lot of things that community organizations can do. And the health care center will only provide one item. There's nine different things in an organization that you can do to encourage people to be healthy and not to misuse the emergency wards of our hospitals. They're misused. There's, I talk to the doctors and to the nurses, and they tell me that out of every 10 people that go to the emergency ward, there's at least four to five that shouldn't be there at all. And therefore, delaying the attention to those that should be there because there's a long line of them. So we're going to have to look at our healthcare system very objectively. And yes, a health center is essential. I worked hard to get the one in Malton, and I will work to get this one. Hopefully. But I gotta be assured that the organizations such as yours are doing your part in encouraging your people to become healthy and not to do something. Encourage the families to make sure their kids are exercising, getting involved in sports and other facilities, rather than going home from school, sitting on coach, watching TV, playing games on their computer, or, or using their phone. That's what's causing our health problem today. So there's a lot of things we can do that we're not doing. And rather than